We begin today with history being made in Spain. Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy just moved to dissolve Catalonia's parliament a few hours after it voted yes for total independence from the rest of the country. As you can see here, we're looking at live pictures there in Barcelona. Thousands were gathered outside of the Catalan parliament in the city where they were celebrating earlier. But now, with this news, the mood has slightly changed. RT's Charlotte Dubinsky has the latest for us from Barcelona. It has been an incredible day. On the beginning of Friday morning, many people were waiting with bated breath to find out whether the Catalan Parliament would actually declare independence. When it did, we witnessed thousands of pro-independence supporters who were surrounding the Catalan Parliament, who all had their arms in the air and all were shouting, yes, yes, yes. Some people then broke into spontaneous song. Some people were crying. And in the moments after that uh, declaration of independence, we spoke to people who said that this is something that they had waited for their entire lives and not just themselves but their parents lives their grandparents lives because for many Catalonians this struggle for independence has been going on for many generations almost a hundred years now and into the night in Barcelona people have been celebrating there have been concerts taking place but this comes all amidst of course what we're hearing from Madrid and this is that uh, in Spain uh, the Spanish government has decided that it will dissolve the Catalan Parliament and it will also remove the chief of police here and it will now call snap elections. So many people, uh, just speaking to a couple of people who were gone and came on air and asked them, you know, what do you make of that? And they said, look, we, we don't recognize what the Spanish government is saying. We know that they've enacted this Article 155, which is unprecedented in Spain. It's a part of the constitution that allowed them to strip the powers uh, from Catalonia. But they're saying it didn't happen until the Catalonian parliament had already made its declaration of independence. So they will not recognize it. But of course, many people in Catalonia would like to remain with Spain. And for them, this declaration from the Spanish government that they will howl these new elections is actually a glimmer of hope. Now, Charlotte, it looks like the, the crowds have been pretty jubilant, uh, mostly peaceful, I think. Is that still the case there? Yes, absolutely, that's still the case. One of the things that really resonates from this entire situation, this has been weeks and weeks of uncertainty about the future of Catalan, is the fact that today outside the parliament that there were pro-independent supporters as well as those who are pro-unity and want to remain with Spain, and they were standing side by side. Catalans all say that they do not want their society to be ripped apart by this indecision, this uh, tension between the Madrid government and the Catalan government. What they want, those who want to remain with Spain, of course, is to remain with Spain. But the pro-independence say that they want to have their democracy, their say, and they will do everything peacefully to resist what Madrid is about to do next or what they expect Madrid is about to do next. Charlotte, this is absolutely uh, history in the making. We know that Barcelona and, and, and the Catalan region is, is approximately 20 percent of all of Spain's GDP. So I doubt that Madrid is going to let uh, Barcelona and the Catalans uh, go very easily. What do you think might happen next? Well, in all honesty, this is unprecedented territory. Article 155 has never been enacted in almost 40 years of the Spanish Constitution. This is the first time it's been enacted. It was also enacted after that vote of declaration by the Catalan Parliament. So the reality is nobody knows what the legal situation is here. The Catalan Parliament and the people who support independence say independence has been declared. They now want to formally secede from Spain. Uh, those who are in Madrid and those who support Spanish unity say no, Article 155 has been enacted. Madrid has been able to take control away from Catalonia. In fact, this is incredibly uncharted waters, and we will have to see now in the weeks and months what will actually happen, whether those elections will go ahead. And of course, most importantly for many Catalonians, is the fact that the regional police force here, uh, their chief of police, has been sacked from his job, and many people think that that will mean Madrid will send in their police, and people are rather concerned about that. All right, thank you so much for filing that report. RT's Charlotte Dubinsky, live for us out of Barcelona.